Hi everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. So today we are going to talk about the dates of the concrete. So you must have been like heard somewhere that okay, on this particular site, M15 grade of concrete is used, on this one, M25 is being used. On some sites, you've also heard that if there is a heavy construction ongoing, then M35 grade of concrete is used. So in today's session, we will learn what are these different grades of the concrete and what is the basis of categorizing them. So the grade of the concrete is basically decided on the strength of the concrete. So like uh, if a concrete is there with the grade M25, that means this concrete is having the strength of 25 megapascal. Okay, now that is also known as 25 Newton per mm square. Now, when a concrete achieve this strength, is it after just the like casting or is it after one day or is it after seven days or after 28 days? So this strength has to be measured after 28 days of casting and curing. Okay, so the concrete is casted and the normal size that is used for the test is 150 mm cube. Okay, so all the dimensions of the cube will be of 150 mm and that will be casted like in the lab then after that it will be cured for 28 days and after that it will be tested so if the strength of that concrete like you will have to make the multiple samples and if not more than five percent of the samples are failing then that uh like concrete will be said to have 25 newton per mm square of a strength and that's why it is known as m25 grade of concrete now there are different ratios in which if you will mix the sand fine aggregates and the coarse aggregates then it will achieve such an strength so we will talk about that and for that we are going to take the reference of the is 456 2000 so let's see so guys, you can see over here, this is IS 456-2000 and we have this table too, which depicts the grade of concrete. Now, it is also under the class 6.1, 9.2.2, 15.1.1 .1 and 36.5. Next is, this is the groups on which the concretes have been divided and this is the grades. So for the ordinary concrete, the grades are M10, M15 and M20. Now, there is a third column also which is for a specified characteristics compressive strength of 150 mm cube at 28 days okay in newton per mm square so that's the strength of the concrete so in the ordinary concrete we have three different categories m10 m15 and m20 and these are having the strength of 10 newton per mm square, 15 newton per mm square, and 20 newton per mm square, respectively. Now, there is one more special thing over here. You must have seen that at some of the sites, M15 grade of the concrete is being used. However, you will not find a site with like uh, construction with M10 grade of concrete. But anyway, M15 or lower grades of concrete are now banned. They should not be used. So the minimum grade of concrete that should be used on the site is M20, okay? And that means a concrete which is having a strength of 20 Newton per mm square after the test of 150 mm cube at 28 days, okay? Now there are different grades of concrete that lies under a standard concrete and those are M25, M30, M35, M40, M45, and M50, also M55. Now you can see there is one more common thing over here that all the grades of the concrete are varied by unit 5. That means if M25 is having the strength of 25 Newton per mm square, then the M30 will have the next uh, compressive strength of 30 newton per mm square and guys this is the compressive strength and you must be knowing that con concrete is good in compression but not in tension okay so that is also a point now the next thing is all the grades of the concrete are varied by five units okay then there is a third category that is of high strength concrete 
okay and in the high strength concrete we have m60 m65 m70 m75 and m80 now these are the concrete dates on the basis of strength that means the compressive strength and here you can see the respective concrete uh, compressive strength of all these grades of concrete now there is uh, two important points in the notes section also and those are in the designation of concrete mix m refers to the mix and the number of the specified number to the specified compressive strength of 150 mm size cube at 28 days expressed in newton per mm square that i have already explained now the next point is for concrete of compressive strength greater than m55 design parameters given in the standard may not be applicable and the values may be obtained from the specified literature and experimental research that means for the concrete less than uh, like m55 or even m55 we can just go with the different design parameters but if some concrete is having the compressive strength greater than m55 then these design parameters may not be applicable okay so how we are going to test it so first of all we will have to create the cubes of 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm and then we will have to test it or we will have to go for a specialized nutritures and experimental results to ensure that any concrete has having a like a strength of 55 newton per mm square or greater okay now what are the different design parameters for this grade of concrete so for that we will go to another table over here that you can see right now okay so here you have three columns that are uh, i'm going to talk about that will be grade of concrete and the mix ratio then the like compressive strength so over here you can see for the grade of concrete m5 the mix ratio is 1 is to 5 is to 10 and the compressive strength is 5 mega pascal or 5 newton per mm square for again m7.5 it is 1 is to 4 is to 8 and the compressive strength is same as the unit that has been mentioned over here in mega pascal then m10 is 1 is to 3 is to 6 m15 is 1 is to 2 is to 4 m20 is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 now you can also find a sequence over here like you will see m5 is 1 is to 5 is to 10 so this middle value will help you to remember the a mix ratio of it then m7.5 that is the next mix ratio and that is of 1 is to 4 is to 8 that is just reduced by 1 and the number on the right hand side is just the double of this one then next is m10 so uh, that will be uh, the middle value will be reduced by 1 and the number on the right will be doubled off by the value over here then m15 is 1 is to 2 is to 4 that is again one less than over here and the on the right we have the uh, double of the value of the middle value okay so this is a trick to remember okay that's not of a, any other thing this is just a trick to remember if you want to remember the mix ratio over here and then we have the like uh, lowest grade of concrete that has to be used on the site however you will also find m15 to be used over there but that is not recommended so m20 is having the ratio of 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 so this is like uh, commonly used so you will have to remember this ratio then m25 is 1 is to 1 is to 2 okay so this is simple to remember, remember and uh, i guess uh, you can easily memorize it the next is m30 m35 and all so for the standard grade of the concrete and the high strength concrete grades you can just go for design mix ratio and you can just uh, like create a uh, cast the cube and then you can test them and that's how you can find the results so guys i hope you have already clarified the concepts of grade of concrete and now you will remember each and everything that too very easily if you want to learn such things in a 
particular professional banner then you can join our professional training program link is already in the description and if you want to start your career as a consultant then there is a free webinar for you you have to just check that out free webinar and after that you can book a strategy session now the question is where you can find the link of that free webinar that is again in the description and if you want to ask some question then you can just leave that in the comment section if you want me to make video on some particular topic then you can again leave that in the comment section if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel also press the bell icon thank you